Hello everyone! Welcome to Miss Lana's Reading Corner. Are you wondering what book to read to your child before bed? Or are you thinking of what book to get him or her to start reading on his or her own? Here at Miss Lana's Reading Corner, you'll find books that are good for your child to read. Today, I'll share with you another interesting book. Good Night Noon by Margaret Weiss Brown, pictures by Clement Hurd. Good Night Moon describes everything that is in the room, such as a telephone, a balloon, a picture of a cow jumping over the moon, and a lot more. The narrator wishes good night to each of the things, even to the stars, to the air, and noises of the room until the narrator falls asleep. Good Night Moon has simple yet beautiful illustrations of the things in a young rabbit's room. It also tells the story in rhyme. For example, and two little kittens and a pair of mittens and a little toy house and a young mouse. This book for toddlers and preschool is considered to be a bedtime book as parents around the world read it to put their children to sleep. It was first published in 1947 and has been translated into at least 12 languages. Margaret Weiss Brown is a prolific American author and editor of children's books. She had more than 100 books published during her lifetime and she wrote classics that continue to engage generations of children and their parents. Goodnight Moon is one of the best-selling picture books of all time. It is included in the Parent and Child 100 Greatest Books for Kids by Scholastic.com. Always remember that reading lets your child explore the world through visualization and imagination. Reading to your child before bed is also a way of bonding with him or her. Once a child has developed the love for reading, it will stay with him or her forever. Believe me, you won't need to prod your child to do homework or read school stuff. And children will become smarter and more creative. Here's a quote on reading by Mark Twain. The man who does not read good books has no advantage over the man who can't read them. Don't forget to like, share, and follow or subscribe. We'll share another good book next time.